recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, George Floyd died under the knee of a police officer 302 days ago. In, the, in that time since then, 797 people, more than two and a half every day, have died during encounters with law enforcement. Black Americans are two and a half times as likely as white Americans to be killed by the police. Police use of force is now the sixth leading cause of death for young black men in this country. This cannot continue. It's time to address systemic racism and policing. This bill will begin to do that. It ends chokeholds. It will hold bad officers accountable, combat racial profiling, and will demilitarize police departments. This bill is about assuring accountability and restoring trust between law enforcement and their communities. Both the police and the community deserve that and will benefit from it. I'm proud to be a co-sponsor and urge my colleagues to support it. And I would say, Mr. Speaker, there's been a lot of discussion about defunding the police. The only party in this chamber defunding the police are the Republicans, who just voted against billions of dollars to support local and state government, first responders, police officers. We supported that. We're funding the police. They voted to defund it. This bill restores relationship between the police and the community. I urge passage. The gentleman has resolved.